Section 1 Introduction We're here to delve into a fascinating topic that has dominated AI advancements since 2022 large language models, LLMs. LLMs, trained on vast quantities of text data, have been groundbreaking. Their application in AI assistance, for instance, has showcased a remarkable ability to understand and respond to user instructions. However, there's an issue. Users are generally limited to interacting with LLMs through text conversations, a somewhat suboptimal form of communication for such powerful AI systems. A vital step forward is giving LLMs the ability to understand visual content. Researchers have been making strides towards this goal, using systems like Blip2 that bridge vision language training with pre-existing image encoders and language decoders. This approach has been praised for its efficient use of computation and its versatility in incorporating LLMs designed for instruction following such as Flan T5 and Vicuña. Drawing from the idea of Blip2, initial attempts have been made to incorporate vision foundation models into LLMs, thereby allowing image input. This connection between vision and language pre-training models helps retain the unique qualities of each model, especially the EAMS ability to follow instructions. As a result, LLMs are now equipped to handle both text-based and image-grounded conversations. Yet, there's a conspicuous absence of video integration into the conversation. Videos, as common forms of content on social media platforms, present a challenging problem due to the complexities of understanding dynamic visual scenes. The gap between video and text, which requires processing visual and audio signals, is more significant than that between image and text. To address this, we're exploring the creation of multimodal LLMs that can incorporate video input, facilitating user interaction with computers centered around user-uploaded videos, which typically include multiple frames and audio. Instead of using separate models to translate visual and auditory signals to text, we're developing a unified model that can manage data from multiple modalities within a single framework. We adopt the efficient cross-modal pre-training concept from Blip2, and to capture changing visual scenes in videos, we utilize a pre-trained visual encoder to calculate frame representations. We then incorporate a frame embedding layer to introduce temporal information and a video cue former to generate visual query tokens. For audio signals in the video, we apply a pre-trained audio encoder and an audio cue former to generate auditory query tokens. To align the text output with the video, we're employing a multi-branch cross-model pre-training approach to learn the relationships between vision language and audio language. We first pre-train the vision-related components using a large video caption dataset for a video-to-text generation task, also including image caption data to improve understanding of static. Visual concepts. These components are then fine-tuned using a video-based conversation dataset. For aligning the audio encoder and language decoder, we further pre-train the audio-related components using an audio caption dataset for an audio-to-text generation task. We also use ImageBind as an encoder for audio language correspondence, as it excels in aligning different modalities to a shared embedding space. Despite the limited availability of audio text data, our system, named VideoLama, demonstrates excellent zero-shot audio understanding capability during inference, even without explicit training with audio text data. In summary, our contribution includes 1. Video Llama, a multimodal large language model that enables video grounded conversations between humans and computers by integrating language decoders with pre existing unimodal pre trained models. 2. A multi branch cross model pre training framework that enables LLMs to understand video content and helps achieve alignment between vision language and audio language. 3. Open sourcing the entire code base for pre training and fine tuning, as well as all variants of Video Llama model weights. We also provide demos for video grounded conversation. Section summary. The section discusses the limitations of text only human computer interaction with large language models, LLMs, and the need to endow LLMs with visual and audio understanding capabilities. The authors propose Video Llama, a multimodal LLM that supports video input and allows users to chat with computers around the user uploaded video. They use a pre trained visual encoder and audio encoder to separately compute frame representations and audio signals, respectively and introduce a frame embedding layer and a video cue former to generate visual query tokens. They also devise a multi-branch cross-model pre-training framework to achieve both vision language alignment and audio language alignment. Section 2 Method Our Video Llama model is designed to equip language learning models, LLMs, with the ability to comprehend both visual and auditory content in videos. To accomplish this, we've built two branches, the vision language branch and the audio language branch. Each of these branches is designed to convert video frames and audio signals respectively into query representations, which can interact effectively with the text inputs of LLMs. First, we'll cover the overall structure of the model and the unique elements of each branch. 
Following that, we'll discuss the specific steps in our proposed cross-modal pre-training process that combines multiple branches, as well as how we tune the model using audiovisual instructions. Now, let's delve into the structure of the vision language branch. This branch is specifically constructed to help LLMs understand visual inputs. It consists of a pre-trained image encoder, which is static, a position embedding layer, which adds time information to video frames, a video. Q former, which aggregates frame level representations, and a linear layer, which adjusts the video representation dimensions to match the text embedding dimensions of the. If we consider a video consisting of n frames, the image encoder maps each frame into a certain number of image embedding vectors, creating video frame representations. However, as these frame representations are calculated without taking temporal information into account, we add position embeddings to the frame representations as a way to indicate temporal information. The position encoded frame representations are then fed into the video queue former, which uses the same structure as the query transformer in Blip2. This produces a certain number of video embedding vectors, representing the video. To adapt the video representations for LLM input, we use a linear layer to transform the video embedding vectors into video query vectors. These query vectors match the dimensions of the LLM text embeddings. In the forward pass, they are combined with input text embeddings to form a video soft prompt helping guide the static LLM to generate text based on the video content. In terms of the vision language branch's implementation, we employ the pre-trained vision component of Blip2 as the static visual encoder, which includes a VIT-G14 from EvaClip and a pre-trained Qformer. The other components, such as the position embedding layer, video Qformer, and linear layer, are randomly initialized and optimized to effectively connect the output of the static visual encoder to the static LLMs. Section Summary the Video Llama method aims to enhance Frozen Eames' ability to comprehend both visual and auditory content in videos. The method consists of two branches, the Vision Language branch and the Audio Language branch, which transform video frames and audio signals into query representations compatible with Eames' textual inputs. The Vision Language branch includes a frozen pre-trained image encoder, a position embedding layer, a video queue former, and a linear layer to project video representations into the same dimension as Eames' text embeddings. Section 2.1.2 Audio Language Branch We're presenting the Audio Language Branch, our method for handling the sound element of a given video. This branch includes several components, such as a pre-existing audio encoder to analyze features from small segments of the original sound, a position embedding layer to incorporate time data into the sound pieces, an audio cue former that merges the traits of different sound sections, and a linear layer that translates the sound representation into the embedding realm of language learning models, LLMS. We use ImageBind, a pre-trained tool, to serve as the audio encoder. The first step is to take evenly spaced samples from the video, which are split into chunks of two-second audio clips. Each of these short clips is then transformed into spectrograms using 128 ml spectrogram bins, a method that graphically represents sound frequencies. After we've acquired a list of spectrograms from the input audio, our audio encoder maps each spectrogram into a dense numerical vector, effectively converting the audio content into a mathematical form. This process generates an audio representation of the video, which can be symbolized as an array A, composed of elements A underscore 1, A underscore 2, and so forth, up to A underscore M, where each A signifies the audio representation of each segment. The audio cue former then steps in, mirroring the actions of the video cue former. It introduces time data by adding learnable position embeddings to audio pieces. It calculates and creates consistent audio traits by determining the interactions across the time coded audio sections. The architecture of the audio cue former is identical to that of the standard cue former. The variable length audio representation list A is transformed into a fixed length sequence by the audio cue former. This sequence is represented as an array, where K underscore A is the total count of audio embedding vectors, and D underscore A is the size of each individual vector. Lastly, we make use of a linear layer to map these audio traits onto the embedding space of the LLM translating the audio features into a format that can be understood and processed by the language learning models. Section Summary The audio language branch is introduced to handle the audio content of the video. It uses a pre-trained audio encoder to compute features, a position embedding layer to add temporal information, an audio cue former to fuse the features of different audio segments, and a linear layer to map the audio representation into the embedding space of LLMs. The generated audio representation of the video is denoted as A equals A underscore 1 a underscore 2. Dot dot. A underscore M, and a linear layer is used to map audio features to the embedding space of the LLM. Section 
2.2 Multi-Branch Cross-Modal Training In Section 2.2, we discuss our approach to multi-branch cross-modal training. The process involves training two separate branches, one dedicated to vision and language, the other to audio and language. The training happens in two stages, using large-scale vision caption datasets initially, followed by top-notch instruction following datasets for refinement. It's helpful to think of each image as a single-frame video. In the first subsection 2.2.1, we focus on training the vision language branch. During the initial stage, we make use of a dataset called WEBVID2M, which comprises short videos with associated textual descriptions gathered from stock footage websites. Additionally, we use the CC595K image caption dataset, a derivative of the larger CC3M dataset, meticulously sifted and selected for our purposes. During this pre-training phase, our goal is to prompt a model that's been pre-processed and prepared for generating text, to create accurate textual descriptions from given video representations. Interestingly, we discovered that a substantial percentage of the textual descriptions couldn't fully convey the content of their corresponding videos. This meant that the visual semantics within the videos didn't always align completely with the textual semantics found in the video descriptions. Despite this, our primary objective at this stage was to harness a vast amount of data and imbue video features with as much visual knowledge as possible. We reserved the tasks of aligning visual and textual elements and following instructions for the subsequent stage. At the end of this pre-training phase, while the model was adept at generating content based on information in the video, it was somewhat less capable of following instructions. Therefore, we proceeded to the second stage, during which we fine-tuned the model using high-quality instruction datasets. We combined three sources for this purpose, the image detail description dataset from MINIGPT4, the image instruction dataset from LLAVA, and the video instruction dataset from VideoChat. Upon completion of this fine-tuning process, our model, which we named Video Llama, demonstrated impressive capabilities in following instructions as well as understanding images and videos. Section Summary the authors trained the vision language and audio language branches separately in two stages. In the first stage, they used large-scale vision caption datasets for pre-training, and in the second stage, they fine-tuned the model using high-quality instruction data from various sources. The pre-training stage aimed to utilize a vast amount of data, while the fine-tuning stage focused on improving the model's ability to follow instructions and comprehend images and videos. Section 2.2.2 Training of Audio Language Branch we're discussing the training of the audio language branch, which poses unique challenges due to the rarity of audio text data. The main goal of this process is to get the learnable parameters in the audio language branch to align the output from the frozen audio encoder with the embedding space of the LLM, or language learning model. Given the shortage of audio text data, we have to come up with an alternative approach to achieve this alignment. This is where ImageBind, our audio encoder, comes into play. ImageBind is quite remarkable because it can align the embeddings from different types of data, or, modalities, into one unified space. This ability has shown to be highly effective for tasks like cross-modal retrieval and generation. Interestingly, while there's a shortage of audio text data, there's a surplus of visual text data. Given this, we decided to train the audio language branch using this plentiful visual text data. This training follows the same procedures that we use for the vision branch. You might be wondering about the utility of this approach, given that it doesn't directly involve audio data. But here's the fascinating part. Thanks to the shared embedding space provided by ImageBind, our model, which we call Video Llama, can understand audio input during its inference stage, even though it has never been directly trained on audio data. This demonstrates the flexibility and versatility of our training approach. Section Summary Training the audio language branch directly using audio text data is difficult due to its rarity. To align the output embedding of the frozen audio encoder with the embedding space of LLM, the learnable parameters in the audio language branch are employed. However, due to the scarcity of audio text data, the audio language branch is trained using visual text data, which is possible thanks to the shared embedding space provided by ImageBind. Section 3 Related Works In this section, we delve into the realm of large language models, or LLMs for short. These advanced AI systems have exhibited tremendous capabilities in understanding and deciphering language. They can produce high-quality written content in a multitude of areas such as articles, conversations, stories, and even poetry. The revolution that LLMs have triggered in technology is undeniable, with their applications reaching far and wide. Additionally, several open-source LLMs such as Llama, Bloom, and Opt have been instrumental in pushing technology to new heights and have significantly contributed to the field of natural language processing. 
By leveraging the impressive work done with these LLMs, researchers have further expanded their capabilities, giving birth to outstanding models that cater to a range of NLP tasks. Some of these include the likes of Vicuña and Bayes. Our work builds on these extraordinary LLMs and augments them with the ability to understand both visual and auditory content in videos. In the realm of multimodal large language models, researchers have been proactive in exploring how LLMs can address multimodal problems. The existing methodologies can be broadly categorized into two groups. The first group uses LLMs as overseers, controlling existing multimodal models. In this setup, when the LLM receives text instructions from a user, it interprets the user's intent and decides which tools to employ. It then creates comprehensive responses by integrating the results derived from these ready-made multimodal models. Some examples of this category are Chat GPT, Hugging GPT, and Audio GPT. The second group focuses on training large-scale multimodal models at a fundamental level. The primary concept here is to harmonize other pre-trained multimodal models with textual LLMs. For example, Flamingo employs a perceiver resampler and a gated cross-attention layer to link a stationary image encoder with an LLM. Blip2 introduces a Q-former to map image queries, learned over time, to the textual embedding space of LLMs. LLAVA, MPLUG OWL, and MiniGPT4 develop image LLMs that can follow instructions, using datasets composed of image instruction pairs. VideoChat extends the capabilities of image encoders, thus enabling large models to comprehend visual content in videos. Panda GPT uses multimodal encoders from ImageBind, which have been trained specifically on image instruction pairs, to equip large models with an understanding of six different modalities. Our work is aligned with this second group. We train foundational models to grasp both the visual and auditory elements in videos. Section Summary Large language models, LLMs, have shown remarkable language understanding and reasoning abilities, and have been widely applied in different applications. Researchers have been exploring the use of LLMs for processing multimodal problems, which can be categorized into two main groups, employing LLMs as controllers and utilizing existing multimodal models as tools, or training fundamental large-scale multimodal models. Our work falls into the second category, where we train fundamental models to comprehend both the visual and auditory content in videos. Section 4 Limitations Chapter 4 Limitations Despite the remarkable achievements of Video Llama in comprehending both the visual and auditory elements of videos, we should acknowledge that it's still in its initial development stages and comes with a set of limitations. Firstly, its perception capabilities are limited. The model's performance is influenced by the quality and breadth of the dataset used for training. To improve this, we're putting a lot of effort into building an optimized audio-video text alignment dataset that will further enhance Video Llama's perceptual skills. Secondly, Video Llama struggles with handling extended videos. Movies and TV shows, which contain a substantial amount of information, put a strain on computational resources. Addressing this issue is a major challenge that we, along with the broader research community, are actively trying to tackle. Lastly, the issue of hallucination persists. Video Llama, unfortunately, carries over the hallucination problem from the previous language learning models, LLMs. We are hopeful that future progress in more advanced LLMs will help mitigate this problem. Despite these challenges, we remain steadfast in our commitment to address them and look forward to creating an even more effective language model for video understanding. Section Summary The Video Llama prototype has limitations, including limited perception capacities due to the current training dataset, difficulty handling long videos, and inheriting the hallucination problem from frozen LLMs. However, the research community is actively working to address these challenges and improve the model's language capabilities for video understanding. Section 5 Examples In this part of our discussion, we'll demonstrate a few examples to showcase the multimodal instruction following capacity of video llama within conversations grounded in videos, audio, and images. First, let's look at the ability of video llama to integrate audiovisual perception. There are Illustrative examples that highlight Video Llama's unique skill to understand both auditory and visual information at the same time. We have videos containing audio in both of these instances. We ask a pair of questions in each conversation, with one related to the visual content and the other to the auditory content. If Video Llama were only capable of processing one type of input, it wouldn't be able to answer both questions. However, it's clear that Video Llama can accurately respond to questions pertaining to both visual and auditory content in both situations. Next, let's focus on Video Llama's capability to perceive and comprehend static images. We have illustrations that demonstrate Video Llama's proficiency in understanding pictures. 
In one instance, Video Llama not only precisely describes the main content of the image, but also makes connections to the friendly interaction happening between a dog and a human. Another instance showcases Video Llama's ability to grasp the idea of something being unusual, and to provide a specific description of an unusual scene. Section Summary The section showcases Video Llama's multimodal instruction following capability in video, audio, image grounded conversations. It demonstrates the model's ability to comprehend auditory and visual information simultaneously, as well as its ability to perceive and understand static images. The examples show that Video Llama accurately responds to both visual and auditory questions and can describe the main content of an image while associating it with a specific concept. Section 3. The Ability of Common Knowledge Concept Recognition. Dot. The third point we're discussing is the ability of common knowledge concept recognition. In essence, this refers to the capability of Video Llama to identify widely recognized concepts within visual content. The system's proficiency in this area is evident, with it successfully identifying well-known landmarks and characters. Moreover, it also has the ability to participate in common-sense question answering. The fourth characteristic we'd like to highlight is the system's ability to capture temporal dynamics in videos. Simply put, this pertains to Video Llama's capacity to understand the progression of actions over a period of time in a video. Demonstrations of this feature are evident as it accurately describes the actions executed by a girl and the direction a boat is moving in the provided videos. Section Summary The Video Llama AI system has the ability to recognize common knowledge concepts in visual signals, such as famous landmarks and characters, and can engage in common-sense question answering. Additionally, it can capture temporal dynamics in videos and identify actions over time, as demonstrated by its ability to describe the actions being performed by a girl and the direction of a moving boat.